Hi, my name is Oliver Lake, and I want to talk a little bit more about finding your own voice. And uh, uh, earlier I was speaking about some of the cliches that saxophone players play and how to get out of working those cliches. One of the things that I found handy or useful is writing my own exercises and practicing them. Uh, if you're working with various chord changes or non-chordal changes, just making up some exercises and learning them throughout the keys. Uh, and instead of using the, the, the cliché phrases that some of the saxophone players use, you end up writing your own creative ideas to come up with things that will be a part of your vocabulary throughout your improvisation. Some of my techniques have to do with things that have happened that, that I was inspired by Eric Dolphy, practicing wide intervals and then trying to incorporate that into my improvisation. That particular one is playing a low note and then going down a half step and playing up to the next high note and so forth, or a whole step or a half step. That's some of the things that I practice and I end up using those in my improvisation. When I practice, I practice some of the extended techniques that I spoke about and played a little bit earlier, the harmonics. Long tones are part of creating your sound and holding a thought in your mind of a saxophone player or a tone that you really like and then when you're holding that long tone you keep that sound and I think of someone like Coltrane and Miles Davis who have their own sounds. I think it's important to uh, practice and create your own sounds and some of the things that I do when I practice I did some a little bit earlier the harmonics, the slap tonguing, vocalese or using my voice as I play and then practicing some intervals, extended intervals or high intervals back and forth on the instrument. Those examples and then extending that at, in, from key to key or however you want to do it and then incorporate that into your improvisation. I'll give a little example. Right now I'm involved in several different projects and a lot of the times my practice is determined by whatever project that I have coming up. Of course, I'll warm up my instrument, and then from there I'm either working on compositions that I have for various performances that are upcoming. So primarily what I'm doing is since from week to week or month to month, I'm from with one group to the next group to the next project, I'm generally working on that music for the upcoming performance. My routine for warming up is about 15 to 20 minutes and then playing some long tones, playing some low notes, playing some scales over the instrument, and then getting to the compositions and working on the compositions that I have for performance, which are upcoming. Historically, <laughs> as an improviser, you have to know where you've been in order to know where you're going. So it is very important to learn the technical scales, chords, changes, melodies, all of those things are very important and listening to what happened in the past and and actually copying some of that and as you copy that and you get further into it then you want to change that into something original and it's very important that we study the past and then move forward from that. I think historically that's what all the great players have done. 